Hi and welcome back. In the previous video we took an overview of your web page and some of the content that you'll be able to update on a daily basis. In the next few tutorials we're going to take you through some of the areas that I feel is important that can get you going right away updating your page with pictures, articles, and um, changing around some of the features. The administration for the Cyanet Sports web page was designed for ease of use, and believe me, if I can learn how to do it, anyone can. It also keeps your data very secure, and it is a top priority of Cyanet Sports. Authorization levels are set up so that an administrator user may be given access to just the areas that they need. And what I'm talking about is over here on the left. We have all these different pages, uh, boys basketball, girls, uh, boys soccer, girls soccer for example. So each sport has its own web page that usually the coach or one of the players um, take on the responsibility of updating this or they send me material and I go ahead and update it. We'll go back to the main page now. The administrative screens are easy to navigate and understand and all the features and functions are fully documented. What I usually do when I go into change and update it in the morning is I'll come up here to my browser bar and erase the index.php and just type in the word admin. Hit enter. Bring you up to the login screen. Your login name will be emailed to you along with an initial password. Go ahead and use that password to log in and then I recommend one of the first things that you do is come up here to the upper left, change your password to one that you are familiar with and that will be your login password from that point forward. Well, what we're going to do with the time remaining in this tutorial is take you through the step-by-step -step process on how to add an article to your web page and that is over here on the left hand side right above add a journal. Click on add an article. Now you'll see that the headline is up here and what I have done is I have an arrangement with the local paper and I'm allowed to go ahead and copy and paste the material on their web page. I'm putting in the headline now and it does take a few steps. Copy and paste the first couple lines or paragraphs depending on how long the story is. Add that to the body of my article paste and allow. I like my articles to be about 14 point on your font size. And then always add click here to read the entire article. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert a hyperlink right here. <clears throat> In order to do that, very simple process, come back to the newspaper's browser window, highlight it, copy, back to your menu, highlight this bottom line here, come up right here to your tools bar, insert hyperlink where it says link URL, click there, paste the URL, drop down two boxes here, open that drop down box and I would suggest selecting open in a new window and then insert. Now you're done. Basically all you have to do now is to make sure that it took sometimes, knowing computers, it will or will not. Come back to that other browser window that you opened up. Hit refresh. Come down here to the article section and here is the article that I just posted. Your clients can click on there where it says more and here is what is on the web page. Here is that hyperlink and if Lady Luck is with me it will open up. Next tutorial we're going to show you how to update the body content of your web page. Join me again for the next five-minute tutorial here on SignetSports.com.